Hey guys, Karun from Mobi Scrub here and I'm back with the top apps for the month of October 2018. Let's get started. The first one is called Overdrop Weather and I think so far it is my favorite weather app just because it's actually badass. It's not just a weather app that gives you weather related information, you know, like your 7 day forecast and the ability to add locations on the fly. It also gives you access to some really cool looking widgets that could be weather related or time and date related or even battery related. They look really nice because they're all made in material design but the right wallpaper can make it look a lot more fabulous on your home screen. And some of these widgets are free while the others are paid for so you can buy the pro version for $2.39 from the Play Store. The second one is called ACR, Automatic Call Recorder. It records conversations independent of whether it's an incoming call or an outgoing call. It stores it on your phone here in the list and then you can play it back whenever you want. You can also choose to add a note to it, share it with someone, call back or even transcribe it to text. Now there are quite a few important features here. First, you can download all of your recordings in one shot on a local computer using an IP address. The second thing is you can upload all of your conversations automatically to a cloud server, whichever one you prefer, and you can access them anywhere, anytime. Then there are quite a few recording options. You could always have like a prompt at the end of the call whether you want to delete or keep it. You can auto delete a couple of recordings after a certain number of days and you can specify that. You can delete short recordings, um, which are let's say not longer than four seconds, five seconds, because it doesn't make sense. Uh, you could change the recording format, it's default to M4A, but you could change this to WAV format, AMR format or MP3, MP4 format. You could also have specific calls, so you know incoming calls from certain people only be recorded. Uh, same goes for outgoing calls that only those be recorded, so you can you know have non-contacts, contacts, only selected contacts. You could also exclude or include certain numbers. Uh, that you want in your included or excluded list. So it's really, really customizable. And guys, before we move on to our third app, it will be great if you could hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you know every time I put up a video. Coming to the third one, the Galaxy S8, S9, the Note 9 all come with a very functional integrated edge panel that has a variety of shortcuts, you know, like direct dials, utility and even tools like calculator. Now I use it very often and I thought, everyone should have this and hence edge screen s9 it's ad free as well and once you install this you pretty much get the same functionality so you can have the edge panels for direct dialing to your favorite contacts instant access to most frequently used apps direct conversations with your whatsapp contacts access to your call logs and even a calculator that it's as handy as it can ever get Obviously, all of this is editable, so you can go into settings and enable and disable certain edge panels. You can also reorder them, so tap and hold and then you can reorder them and you can have the one that you really want to be the first one. You can pretty much set the priority yourself. Oh, and by the way, if you did go into settings further, you can customize the edge panel in a lot of other ways. You know, the color, the height, the width, its position, the background color and all of that. So give it a shot. The fourth one in the list is Accu Battery. I know, another power saving app or something like that. Actually, no, this app gives you real good insight into your battery's health. After one or two days of charging, it will tell you the health of your battery, which you might want to know. It will tell you the estimated battery capacity versus the designed capacity which the manufacturer would have promised you. Now that way you have a fair understanding of how much damage or wear and tear your battery has suffered. Then it will tell you to just charge your battery to 80% so that the lifespan of your battery can go up by more than double. Apparently it's based out of some scientific research and the app allows you to even place an alarm that would go off when your battery reaches 80% charge while charging. So if you can manage with 80% of battery through the day, I recommend you try this. Now I know under settings there is an app optimizer and that can sort of tell you which app is using how much battery but this app is a lot more accurate than that. It will tell you exactly how much battery is being consumed by which app and which service. It also tells you which app is draining the battery faster if you go into discharging speed. Obviously it will tell you how much screen time is left and how much screen off time is left uh, given your battery usage patterns. 
And guys, the only reason you see my app is all black is because I am using the pro version, which is for about $4, uh, which lets me activate the AMOLED dark version. The pro version also gives you access to the historical information. So if you want that, otherwise the free version is good enough. Coming to the next one is called find it. Let's say you have a bunch of text in front of you on a paper or a book or a manual. And if you want to find a specific word, you can do so by just typing it, pointing the camera at it, and it will underline in yellow. The second last app in the list is Niagara Launcher. Now, although this home screen replacement app is a fairly new and in the development stage kind of an app, it is very simple and quite useful. So you have your most important apps listed on the top and then every other app is organized or categorized by letters and you can just glide your fingers through those letters if you want to access an app that starts with that letter and to access notifications from a specific app just swipe right on that app and it will show you if there were any unread notifications so it's pretty cool that way and just one thing real quick to get into the settings for Niagara launcher go all the way below Z and then you'll see Niagara settings right there it does allow you to apply your own icon pack, which I think is a new addition. So you could just go into look and then change the icon pack. I have Project X and a couple of them more, but you could apply pretty much whatever you want. You can change the app icon size. So that's a bit of customization that they've introduced and you can change the theme as well. And coming to the last one. Now I know Android 8 inherently supports app cloning. So if you go all the way into your settings, you get the option of cloning a couple of apps that are on your phone. But there could be times that your phone natively does not support cloning of certain apps on your phone. That's when Parallel Space comes into picture. It gives you this entire list of apps that it supports and you can have two apps or two instances of the same app running on your phone with two different email addresses. Say, you know, with Studio, with uh, Netflix, uh, any app that requires sign in and you want to run two different uh, signed in experiences, you can do that with Parallel Space. So just tap that icon and it will create it on the fly. So that's it, guys. Those were the top seven apps for the month of October 2018. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Do leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.